Alright guys, next thing we're going to talk about is resection. And an easy way to know the difference between the two of them is resection equals me section. We're trying to find out where we're at. Again, like I said, land nav starts out knowing where you're at. So we started out at Mount Greylock. It was dusk when we got there, and we were going to travel to that ridge line at night. Storm moved in. We didn't think we could make it. Probably the safest bet what we should do. Throw up a shelter, temporary shelter for the night. Wait it out and then continue on our travels. So we started out and then we veered off. And we ended up here. When we wake up in the morning, you know, we got turned around. Really not sure where we're at now on the map. So, what we can do is shoot a couple azimuths and get our resection. So, we're over here somewhere. We have no idea where we're at on the map. But we pull the map out using terrain association. We can roughly guesstimate where we're at as far as the terrain around us. So we orient our map, we pull it out, and we can see, yeah, hey, the ridge line off to our right, we can see Mount Fitch up to our northwest, and we can see Mount Greylock. It's the tallest spot on the map. So to find our grid, what we're going to do again is shoot an azimuth to this ridge line, shoot another one to Mount Fitch, And that would be good enough to get, give us a resection to plot where we're at on the map. But like I said, if you have more than two that you can use, it's going to just get you that much more accurate. So what I would do, shoot that other azimuth to Mount Greylock. So now I have three reference points to go by. So we shot our azimuth. <clears throat> we'll say our azimuth. So this ridge line was 90 degrees. Our azimuth to Mount Fitch, we'll say was 355. Then our azimuth back to Mount Greylock, again, if we can use three, we're just helping ourselves out that much more. So we'll say that was uh, 260. The numbers don't have to be right, this is just for demonstration. But Alright, so to get our resection, there's going to be a lot of math here. Take our first reading, was 90 degrees. <clears throat> Being that it's less than 180, we want to use all back azimuths now to get our, our location here. So 90 degrees less than 180, so we're going to add 180 to that. It's going to give us 270. Alright, our next one, it's greater than 180, so we'll subtract 180 from that one. We'll give us 175 degrees. Then our last one again is 260, so that's greater than 180. We'll subtract 180 and it'll give us 80. <clears throat> Am I saying that right? Yeah, that looks right. Alright, so these are our new, these are our back azimuths. Again, before we can put that to the map, we have to look back to that declination diagram. So again, we're going from magnetic to grid, or major to general, so we have to add that 7 degrees to be accurate on our map, or we're going to be off. So this one from 270 becomes 277 when we draw our line on our map from the ridge line. This one's going to be 182 degrees because it's 175. Add that 7. Will give us that. And then from 80 degrees, add the 7. Gives us 87 degrees. Draw that line on our map. And that gives us 
uh, location on the map, and that's resection. And again, resection is me section. We're trying to find out where we're at on the map. So hope that wasn't too confusing for anybody. Um, it's fairly simple if you know what you're doing. Uh, it's probably a little harder to explain, but I hope hope you guys uh, are tracking on that. Um, again, re intersection is just azimuths from known locations to an unknown location, and you're finding an intersection where they all t come together. Resection is me section. You're trying to shoot azimuths to two or more locations. Use the back azimuth to find where you're at on the map. So thanks for joining me uh, and we'll be back with another, another video in the series.